Hey, what's up? If you love big swords and you love fast paced sword combat, you're gonna really enjoy today's video. Today we're checking out Altair Breaker, the brand new game launching today on the Quest 2 and other platforms that's a co-op anime style sword fighting game. Stick around to the end of the video to hear my thoughts on the game itself. Huge shout out and thank you to the developer for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. I've got my big sword. Let's jump in and check it out. Here we are in Altair Breaker. We're gonna jump right into some combat, but first, a couple of quick things. The mechanics. Sword in the right hand. You can have another sword in your left hand. Right now, I only have this sword because it's a giant sword. We're gonna switch that out. I'm gonna show you how you do that. Those are storage boxes where you actually store your weapons as you collect them and your gear. You can upgrade your character over there with your stat boosts, and this is what we want to see. This is where we jump into games. Altair Breaker is a multiplayer game. It's meant for a quick match or private match with friends to play through the progressively harder levels. But you could play single player, and that's exactly what we're going to do right now because I'm working on fixing up a house and I have to film at weird times. I just don't have the time to jump in with people, unfortunately, like I used to until it's all done. So, this is where you're going to do either quick match, ID match if you have the ID, or private match. We're going to go ahead and hit a private match right there. So here is our camp right here. Altair Breaker is a sword fighting combat anime style game that'll make you feel pretty cool if you play it right while you're playing the game. That's the portal that's going to lead us to the Vastus Isle, where you're going to play through progressively harder levels. The Night Cycle is pretty cool too. I really like the Night Cycle, how the Night Cycle works. You could buy stuff from the shop over here, or you can actually change stuff for your items, your change your gear. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm changing my gear because I don't want this giant sword. It's not bad, but I've got a few extra swords here. All right, so let's do the back sword here. It's a little less strong than the sword we currently have, but that's okay because we can actually equip a ballistic shield in our left hand, which we're gonna do. We're gonna hit save, yes. And that'll give us the ability, oops, that's the big sword. There we go. Now we've got like a rapier in this hand and our shield in this hand. That allows us to put a block, like a shield, an actual shield around us. You can block stuff, or you can hit the button to create a shield around you. Speaking of which, see the digital kind of look when things appear? This is supposed to be a digital virtual environment, so it's kind of meta, you know, digital virtual environment inside a virtual reality game. It's one of those things. Well, let's jump in and play some combat, because that's why you're really here. Let's do this. You're going to step over to the portal. It's going to count down once everyone gets close enough, and it's going to teleport you. Let's do it. All right, so this is the first area here. You've got an enemy right there. We're gonna take our rapier over here and we're gonna destroy this guy. Collect these crystals on the way over. Those chests that you'll collect, I'll show you one as soon as I find one. Hi there, buddy. There we go. This is one of my favorite mechanics. Slashing up into the air. There we go. If you have to reach out to slash him. It's kind of like a slow motion, really cool anime type of thing that you jump into the air, like a Devil May Cry type of thing. You can climb surfaces by actually climbing up them. Let's see if the enemy's up here. Are you up here, enemy? There you are. There. All right, here we go. Time to engage. There's a chest right there. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Let's get this guy first. Gotcha. Oh, fast little dude. These things you want to try to take out. They're like these doom things that try to destroy you. This thing isn't very strong, is it? There we go. Come on. There we go. Take his arm clean off. Enemy sighted. Now, there's more enemies. It's two at a time now. Let's, let's get this chest really quick. Ooh, health potion. We'll take that. Thank you very much. And you could slash and throw like these waves of energy. This is the final enemy in this area. Oh, that was fast. Take it down. And that's how you lock on to an enemy. You can actually hold down on the A button, and it'll lock on to the enemy, and as you move, it'll pivot the enemy around you. There we go. Which is kind of an interesting mechanic, something I've not seen. Ooh, I took his head clean off. In VR. At all, if not very often, is having a lock-on, like a traditional game where it locks on to the enemy, which is kind of odd, but kind of cool, actually. All right, so let's look at this last chest over here. Oh, you just saw that, right? When you hold your hands over your head, hold the triggers down, and you can glide, which is pretty awesome. Helps you move around pretty quickly. Let's open up this chest here. After you just dispatch all the enemies, in a given area, it's going to give you a chest, and then you're going to end a portal to go into to the next area. Another health potion. And like I said, the day-night cycle, the way it works is 
this level is daytime, the next level will be like dusk, the next level will be dark, and the next level will be daytime again. So let's jump into this dusk type of level really quickly. All right, this is the second level right here. Let's take out this guy really quick. These enemies get progressively harder as you go, and uh, they get quite difficult, and they get bigger. Uh, and so they get quite challenging as you uh, as you progress. You'll get more enemies, and you'll end up getting much harder enemies at the same time as well. Let's go find these enemies up here. I'm going to use my shield this next time around so you can see what that does. Hit me with your sword, will you? I want to use my shield. There we go. Got him. All right, you hit me with something. See? It's like a protection shield. Got him. Oh, stop hitting me, will you? There we go. Gate essence detected. Oh, gate a essence. Nearby enemy. That means a big one, usually. Yep, look at that. See that dude? He's huge. All right, let's get rid of this guy. Yeah. Come on. Oh! Slice. This is there the we go. Enemy in this area. All right. Take it down. Higher there. Oh, crap. Out of the way. Oh, if you get hit by that fully, you'll get knocked down. Got him. Come on. There. Sliced him in half. There. They got another gate essence. They got one. You gotta collect four. So let's go ahead and see if we can find four gate essences. Neutralize all the enemies. Hi there, enemy. Gotcha. His head clean off. Enemy sighted. Feels the combat in the game feels very arcadey. You know, like not super. It's not like you're trying to. Uh, be super precise with your attacks. It's more of an arcade type of thing. Oh crap. You don't have to be precise, it's more like a waggle type of thing. There we go. When you hit somebody in a certain spot, I'm not sure that it matters. If you understand what I mean, like, you just kinda hit them until they are destroyed. Hi there, buddy. Let's get over there, shall we? Hit him once. That was a flying hit. That was pretty good. Gotcha. And smash up. Down. There we go. Jump over here. Get this guy really quickly. Is this the last enemy in the area? Probably not. There. Destroyed him. An enemy possessing a gate essence has appeared. Gate essence. Take good. it down. Let's take it out. All right, gate essence enemy. Where are you? Are you him? Ooh, I just ran into him. It's threw me off. Oh, he's behind me. Take him out. This is the final there we go. In this area. Look at that giant sword. Alright. Hi there, buddy. You got a lot of floating things around you. Gotcha. Into the air for you. And destroyed. Just like that. Oh. And then it destroy you. Where are you? Come on. Lock onto him. See, this is the lock-on. Oh, up into the air. I just threw him up into the air on accident. There. Now I destroyed him. Please proceed to the next area. Nice. Now I've got two gate essences. Ooh, I got an S rank on that. I didn't get an S I didn't get a gate essence on that one. I said he had one. Like I said, this gets progressively harder as you go. And eventually you will die. And you're gonna need people to go with you to get farther. Ooh, get his head right off. Come on, here we go. Got him, just as he was striking. Up into the air, come on, and down! There we go, nice strike. This enemy is an evolved phenotype. It seems to be carrying a gate essence. Okay, means it's a big one. Oh, there he is. Oh, crap, did you see that? He just tried slicing me. There, up into the air, come on! Nice, I did it. Found by BMF Show. Come on, dude. You're not gonna win, you know it. Head off. Nope, arm off. In this area. Take it down. Alright, buddy. You little shrimpy dude. Got disappeared. him. Alright. We just need some more gate essence. Hi there. Gotcha. One more gate essence. Come on. Oh, you just hit me. Slow motion, dude. Up into the air. Slash you. 
butcher it in half. That's how we do it here. Engage it three of these. Gotcha. Come on, buddy. Oh, crap. That is what happens when you get knocked down. See, it's how the enemy colors are changing. They're getting harder. There we go. That thing's really going nuts. Got his head right off. Enemy sighted. Engage at will. Oh, crap, behind me. Ooh, cut his head clean off too. An enemy oh. possessing a gate essence. There, has there's appeared. the gate essence. Take it down. Gotcha. Come on. Come on, you son of a gun. Alright, buddy. There we go. Come on, you son of a gun! Just die already! Oh, crap! I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to... I want to... Oh, nuts! I just want to get my gay essence that I've been waiting for! Got him! Get down. Come on, you freaking enemy. Alright, time to lock on. Now there's only one enemy left. Got him! Here. Yes! Please proceed to the next area. I did it! Sweet! I got four gate essences. Dun dun dun! Alright, here we go. New arena area. We got gate essences, so it's brought us to a new arena. Head clean off. Enemy sighted. Engage at will. We're gonna take out all these dudes. Did I get him? Not quite. Ninja dude. Come on. I right, got him. Enemy good. sighted. Neutralize them all. All right. Come and get me. You know you want to. That's right, bro. Come and get me. Come on. Slash me. Gotcha. Ooh, right off the edge. Holy. Engage at will. Oh, big dude. Oh, big dude is right. Take that guy out really quick. Up in the air, yes. Got him. Got him. You did it. Thank you. We did it. Ooh, I like this sword. All right, it brought us back here so we can store our stuff before we go off on another adventure. We're going to go ahead and add all of our stuff in here. Let's go ahead and store a lot of stuff. We're going to keep our knightly sword. We're going to store our sword breakers. A lot of this stuff I don't care about having. Okay. There we go. Now, let's check out this other sword we just got. This knightly sword. This is a uncommon one-handed weapon. Nice. I like it. This is what we're going to use from now on moving forward with our ballistic shield. But we're back at our camp again. We're about to jump in for another run in this game. Thank you for joining me and for watching me slay some enemies. That's Altair Breaker. There you go, there is some gameplay for Altair Breaker. Now, this is a very fast-paced sword combat anime game. If any of those things sound good to you with co-op, you probably will enjoy this game. I had a lot of fun playing around with it, getting different weapons, upgrades, fighting different enemies. There are a few things that I think you should keep in mind, though, when you jump into this game from what I've played and I've seen other people play. The game is fun, and the gameplay loop is really cool, especially when you're juggling enemies into the air and you're fighting against multiple enemies, and I'm sure it's even better in co-op. A couple things to keep in mind, though, are that the game is very arcadey. It's not like super real realistic combat with swords it's more like an arcade style game which a lot of people will enjoy but just keep that in mind 
And also keep in mind, so far, everything I've seen and played, there are just a handful of locations, smaller locations that you actually play. They just continuously loop. The day-night cycle might change and the enemies change, but those locations seem to stay pretty much the same. The enemies do change up and they do get continually harder and the boss battles and the huge boss battle is really, really cool. Plus, I do like earning the new weapons. But keep in mind that the gameplay loop could potentially get monotonous or at least a little bit stale as you play. Overall, I had a lot of fun with the game, but there are just a few things like that to keep in mind. The gameplay is very arcadey, not super realistic, but that's okay if you like that type of gameplay. And the game does feel a little bit samey as you play through the same levels, even if the enemies are getting progressively harder. What are your thoughts, though? From what you've seen in this video or in the trailers, are you looking forward to this game? Are you going to jump in with co-op? Let me know down in the comments. And a huge shout out and thank you again to the developer for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. If you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest, you don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. And you can check out more of my videos right there on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and happy questing.